believe it or not, Super Street Fighter 2 here for Sega Genesis clots in that over 40 meg. It's the largest licensed Sega Genesis game out there. In fact, I don't know of any licensed Super Nintendo games that went over 32 megs. So this is it. This is the largest memory-wise game for your Sega. Sadly, you're barely going to notice it. <laughs> Does that mean there's more characters here to a Super Nintendo game? No. Does that mean there's more levels or more exclusive content? Not really. <laughs> okay. We pretty much get all the extra goodies like the tournament mode, challenge. You know, you can go for like a high score or best time trial, but honestly, <laughs> there's no save feature in the game, so it's not very important. Yeah. You get the typical group and versus battle. Good for multiplayer battles, but who really cares? And I highly recommend that you play this on the six button controller. Thankfully, they're like $2 a dozen. <laughs> Alright, so improvements to the roster is that we get four new characters here. Down here, T-Hog, yeah, Big Mexican dude, Free Long, Bruce Lee, Stereotype, DJ, uh, Jamaican dude, and Kami. <laughs> For fan service reasons, we'll pick Kami. Uh, oddly enough, Kami became the most popular new challenger <laughs> of the four. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, why is this girl wearing a one-piece bathing suit? This is a life of death tournament where weapons are legal. Put some pants on, you stupid girl. <laughs> you gotta love how she shows her butt. Yeah, so it's a beautiful looking game still. Like, look at Hong Kong here. It's awesome. And here lies the problem with some of these new characters here is that they just have recycled moves. Yeah. Her thrust kick here is pretty much just modified. You know, Dragon Punch, Fei Long's kick, his flame kick is pretty much a modified version of a flash kick, and all that. It's hardly anything original at all, really. T Hawk, you know, he's like saying geek. He has like a 360 degree giant fro which does a ton of damage. These new characters here are cool to try out, but it gets very old very quickly. A lot of the returning characters have at least one special move or singular move to them. It's cool when you get a combo and all that. It actually recognizes it and you get bonus points, but still, there's no save feature, so who really cares about the points? <laughs> Turn off the game, it erases everything. <laughs> yeah, thankfully the four bosses have been given extra animations. Okay, so here's the fight with Vega or Balrog. <laughs> it's pretty much the same fight, they recolor the stage a little bit, it looks a bit greener. And you actually see the cage fall down from the sky, which is awesome, but it's still pretty much the same fight you fought before. Yeah, the music in here just sounds terrible. <laughs> it's cool, certain characters have new screens as well. Before, if you beat up a guy, they would all have the same screen. <laughs> and Bison sounds kind of like a robot. <laughs> and Vega just sounds all weird. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese love their feminine male characters. The only thing different about Guile now is that he has a dorky voice. Sack boom! Sack boom! Go go gadget, sack boom! <laughs> ooh ah! Uh, ooh ah! Uh. The problem is, there's no new bosses in the game. It just feels so familiar. 
And look at this, I'm fine Sega again after fine Vega. Big surprise. It looks exactly the same. If you played Special Championship Edition, this is pretty much the ending that you got. <laughs> okay, the graphics looked a bit more touched up, but who really cares? Yeah, it's cool that the bosses have legitimate endings now. <laughs> but they're so inconsequential that you won't even care, really. I like how the soundtrack, it doesn't stop in between rounds. That's a cool improvement from the Super Nintendo game. Sadly, with the Super Nintendo game, there's better colors, better voice samples. Look, if you're looking for a good one-on-one -on -one fighter for your Sega Genesis, you can't go wrong with this game. Lots of action, lots of characters to pick from. Great range of moves per character. It's good, but it's just so familiar. Yeah, I don't want to knock this game too much because it's still fun. But the problem is, <laughs> I've done this so many times before. Look, I played the one on the PC Engine. I played the versions on the Super Nintendo. I played Special Championship Edition on Sega Genesis. And no, this wasn't a budget title either. Yeah, even though the game just has a few modifications from Special Championship Edition, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The game was still at full price back then. So that means it was like $60, $70. And because the game was like 40 maids, you better believe it wasn't cheap here in Canada. So you just get four unsighted new characters. You get a few new moves for the older ones. But everything else is pretty much the same. I get Super Street Fighter 2 here for Sega Genesis. Ah, a 65 out of 100. Sure, this is the only the second Street Fighter 2 game here for Sega Genesis, so I kind of gave it a few mercy points, but honestly, I'm so sick of Street Fighter by this point. Alright, this is Star Soldier over and out.